So it looks like Kate Middleton, wherever she is, is still facing some new and fresh allegations into where she is and what is real and what is authentic. Hey guys, this is Marab Marabi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again, it is daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into this video and break this down because the Washington Post has of course did an overview, a summary. They've just put out an article in regards to a time scale of all the fake stuff that you know the royal family have done and the whirlwind that has basically come of this. And they have contacted several AI experts in regards to the recent video of her sitting on a bench and whether it was real or it was not. Now, this was interesting because an AI um, expert, an AI company who have worked with the Pentagon um, in the US, they're called Deep Media. Um, they, you know, um, are experts in deep fake detection. And they have said to the Post that it found high likelihood that Catherine's voice and face were manipulated with some forms of AI. Now, granted, there were some other experts um, who said that they felt like it was completely authentic but reviewed Deep Media's findings at the post request and said that they found the results unconvincing. So to me, this is interesting that Washington Post, first and foremost, have put this out, a very credible, well, you can claim they are, I don't think they are, a um, media article. And then for the fact that they are contacting several AI related experts in regards to this, don't you want this story to die down? On TikTok, there was a search of Kate Middleton cancer video AI and TikTok had removed the AI part and just put it as Kate Middleton cancer video. They refused to respond to comments and that to me is interesting within itself. But for the fact that there are some AI experts, which I think is important to know who feel like it's authentic should also be put into this conversation, which which is why I'm so unsure because I'm seeing two, so I'm seeing people who are vocal, who are experts on both sides of this coin. And so now that we have more, uh, other AI experts saying otherwise that it's high likelihood is interesting because there is a video floating around garnering, garnering sorry, nearly 6 million views of the ring basically disappearing um, and just completely goes away for a, a couple of seconds. As I've said to them, I am well. And get could be lighting, could be frame rate, could be compression, or it could be AI. And this conversation is not centering Kate Middleton to be the one who was responsible for the AI video, or responsible for the fake sun video, or responsible for the pictures of TMZ or the fake editing. She's not responsible for any of this. She's just made to be the scapegoat. I remember ages ago at our royal engagement, they put these candles and they placed her behind the candles. Her face was completely just ignored out as opposed to everybody else. And I just feel like these are just warning signs that people you know, can use you as a scapegoat or to make you as an example of something. But for these AI allegations to happen, to me is interesting. These conversations that we're having, is not, it's not about Kate, that there we go. It's not about Kate. It's about the fact that the Kensington Palace, the Royal Family and the UK press media are colluding, working together to create deceptive content for the mass wide public. This has been proven multiple times prior to this video coming out. And in this day and age, we are going to expect a lot more discussions like this about things that we are seeing, whether we believe them to be real or fake because of the development of AI and how it's very fast paced. This is going to be more of a discussion and I don't think that we should be penalizing ourselves for having these conversations about what we're seeing and whether it's authentic or not about and people can perceive it as trolling and bullying. And I think that when we look at it like that, it is very manipulative and we are gaslighting people. We're not attempting to bully. We're not trolling anyone. We're not cussing anybody, degrading anybody, being rude about anyone. We're not doing that here. And certainly not in these conversations. What we're discussing is a template has been given to us. Do we believe it to be real or not? Considering things prior have not been real. Whilst we've discussed that, now there are other articles, fresh articles discussing and fresh, you know, AI experts coming out saying that there's a high likeliness that they believe that this video is to be fake, as well as videos that are going viral on the app X, where they're showing things that believe that could be fake. The way I see it is this. They fake that, that picture that they put up of her and the family, which they've admitted. They fake the statement that Kate has to take responsibility, which they've completely admitted. That video was definitely fake, the farm shop which we've seen via Christopher Buzzi. Um, 
the TMZ picture was absolutely fake. So if all of these four things were fake, why is this video of her suddenly real? And I'm just gonna leave it at that. It doesn't make any sense. You're cheating on me four times, but the fifth time I meant to believe you. You're cheating on me four times, but on the fifth time you're loyal. Like, come on guys, we're not going to be silly. If we look at it from a different analogy. So the fact that AI experts are coming out, make no mistake, the AI experts that are stating this, and even via the Washington Post, is not an attack on Kate Middleton. It's an attack on the royal family. It's an attack on them and the UK press media. Victoria Newton came out and said word for word that she was colluding with Buckingham Palace to create certain moments and you know to make us feel different. The UK press and the royal family working together to create deceptive content is also not new, but at the same time should also be called out, or if we think that it's not authentic, it should at least be questioned. We as the public should never be penalized for questioning whether we think something is real or not, or for it to be categorized as disrespectful. That is very manipulative. We're not gonna shut up, sit in cages, and be quiet and be content with stuff. We are entitled and allowed to question anything that is left, right, center that we think is odd, especially when it comes to AI content. We are absolutely allowed to do that. We are absolutely allowed to speak up against the UK press and the palace and whether we think that they're colluding too light to our faces. I mean, they take money from us anyways. We fund the taxpayers live. So much money goes to the royal family instead of the homeless in the UK, let alone our teachers, our doctors, our nurses, but everything goes to them. We're meant to just shut up and be, with it and be okay with it. It doesn't make any sense. Whilst and the royal family bring in tourism, that money does not go to us. It goes to the government and it goes to the palace. They are a billion dollar empire who have funneled and taken so much money from us and embarrassed us as a nation in the UK. You can't sit here and deny that. Your love for these royals, if you actually love them, is fake. It's deceptive, it doesn't make any sense. The love is only one way. How does it redirect to you and make your life better in the UK? It doesn't, they, they are daylight robbery thieves. And it's just insane that we must sit here because they're colluding with the UK press and can't say anything on the lies that they keep on saying or whether we think this is a lie or not. Please, there should be no narrative of penalizing the public for questioning whether we believe something is deceptive in any capacity that will not be tolerated, especially on this channel, or to be colluding it as, um, not colluding it, sorry, or to be um, masking it as bullying or trolling or disrespectful. It doesn't make any sense. I'm so sorry. Especially for those saying, let's give Kate Middleton privacy. Let's not stop talking about this. Kate Middleton's never had privacy. The girl has been in the public eye for a very long time. Okay, extremely long time. She is the queen to be. The queen to be is not somebody who lives a private life. You, you know what you sign up for, considering the fact that we fund that life. And nobody can say otherwise because when it was Meghan Markle, everybody was saying the same narrative. But suddenly when it comes to Kate Middleton, it's let's give privacy in every single aspect. But when it's Meghan Markle, it's everybody's fuming at her because she didn't show her baby to the public leaving the hospital. Everybody was throttling that woman left, right and center. So you can't have one piece of the pie and then leave the rest. It doesn't make, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. If you have one piece of the pie, best believe I'm having the rest because I'm hungry. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are on these fresh comments that are made by AI experts that are coming out now, which I think is interesting. Subscribe, comment down below, 320,000 subscribers I have reached today, I really appreciate it. I just reached 300,000, I feel like a month and a half ago, already at 320,000, extremely thankful, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.